Hi there. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a file for error analysis and light side that includes features that are not text features. And I'm going to use as my example the Gallup data set that comes along with light side. You'll see here it has uh, a numeric attribute, it's got some nominal attributes, and a text attribute. First thing I'm going to do, remove all the text attributes. Here, I already did that in this file. So now what I'm going to do is first I'm going to standardize the numeric attributes. In this case, there's only one. What I want is for the range on age to be between 0 and 1. I'm going to call this age scaled. The reason why I'm doing this is because in order to be able to compare across features, the horizontal absolute difference, vertical absolute difference, and even the feature weight, we need to ensure that the ranges on our attributes are equivalent. And so in this particular case, we have several things that need to be adjusted. One is that we've got nominal attributes that have more than two values, um, uh, including state which has 50 values. So we wanna, we're going to deal with that later. Um, and uh, so first we're going to deal with our numeric attribute, which uh, here you can see um, has a range much bigger than 0 and 1. Now um, what we're going to do first is find out what is the maximum value in this column. Because what we can do then is divide by that value. And when we do, then um, the values will be between 0 and 1. So the highest age is 99. So we're going to divide all of our ages by 99. OK. And now we can get rid of these extra columns. We don't need them anymore. OK. And now we're going to convert our state uh, variable. We want to make that state variable be a set of binary variables. The other two we don't need to worry about, uh, the vote and gender, because they're already essentially uh, binary since um, there are only two values. Okay, so first let's save this. Okay. And now that we have done that, we can load it into Weka. So we have to go to our data directory, which is in the light side folder. OK, look for our CSV files. And we see Gallup no text. Good. Now we've loaded it. And what we want to do is uh, transform this state variable. So we're going to look in our filters. We want an unsupervised attribute filter. And what we want is to turn a nominal to binary. Okay. And what's the attribute we want to do that to? It is five. Okay. Good. So, um, change that to no class. All right, so we are going to apply this filter. And now you see we've got a set of binary attributes, um, one per state. OK, so now our representation is just as we want it. So we're going to save this as a CSV file. that is like this. Let's just see. No. Shoot. Okay, we don't want that. What did we do wrong? We saved it as an art file. Let's not do that. We're going to turn it into CSV. Okay, good. Now we have it as a CSV. And if we open it, we can see now we can get rid of this original age column. We've got the scaled version, and we've got um, binary attributes and nominals with two values. So we're good. 
Okay, and now we want to put that text column back in. Okay, so if this was you and you were setting up your data set to do an error analysis, what you would um, have here is uh, you'd have um, a column such that your numeric attributes are all scaled to zero and one and your nominal attributes either have only two values or you've turned them into binary. Then you can put your text columns back. Now, um, to set up for an error analysis, we need to create a, um, uh, a dev set and a cross-validation set. But we can see here we have this issue that um, our data is set so that all the positive examples are at the top and um, the non-positive ones, uh, negative that is, uh, are at the bottom. So we don't want that. So. We are going to insert a random function here, and we're going to fill that all the way down. And now we're going to sort by that column. We do that by clicking in the corner here. Then we go to sort, custom sort. Um, we want to sort by that first column. It doesn't matter if smallest to largest or largest to smallest. Either way, now we've got our data randomized. Um, so now we can get rid of this column that we used only to do that randomization. And now what we're going to do is um, create a cross-validation set and a, um, um, and a dev set. So let's just first save this. Now let's open a new uh, file. This one is going to be our dev set. We're also going to have a CV set. Okay, so let's say we're going to take the first 100 of these and make that our dev set. So we can put that in the dev set. And now we want to take all of this, put it in. CV, but we want to get rid of the first 100 that we had in our dev set. Now we have to make sure that our attribute values occur in the same order. Um, and so we are going to have a little bit of a problem here because we've got positive female first here. So let's just fix that. So we want a positive female first. There. So now we can make sure that for our nominal attributes, the attribute values occur in the same order as they do. Um, uh, the same order in the CV set as in the um, dev set. Okay, now we've got an appropriate dev set, we've got an appropriate CV set. 
everything's comparable, everything is uh, divided nicely, and we're ready for our error analysis. So the actual error analysis will be in the next video.